Secretary Austin, President Biden has said in the past that we will defend Taiwan if they are attacked by China. In your estimation, do we have the capability and capacity today to adequately equip our forces to pursue this mission of defending Taiwan? Our, our, uh, our military is the most powerful military on the planet. Uh, and not only do, uh, do we have more capability than anyone else we, in, in terms of the ability to, uh, to use uh, what we have on hand and to integrate uh, fires and to, and to maneuver responsibly uh, and effectively, we also work with allies and partners and increase their capability as well. You've seen us do that pretty effectively uh, in the, in the Indo-Pacific thus far, and we continue to build upon that. AUKUS was mentioned earlier. This is a, a, uh, an incredible capability that's, uh, that's a, a game changer, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it will certainly add to, uh, to the overall uh, deterrence in the, in the theater. Uh, but there are a number of examples like that throughout. So. Let, me, let me drill down a little bit further. When we look at what we're going to face in that theater, we're going to be operating in a highly contested environment, which means we have to be able to reach Chinese assets at long range in order to degrade that environment to a contested environment where we have a much, much better advantage. Tell me, where are we with magazine depth and capability and capacity currently with long range precision strike weaponry in that theater? Again, I think when you look at uh, at our capability, I think we're, we're in a pretty good place. We never have uh, everything that we want, but certainly it's, it's the mix of capabilities that's, that's important here. Uh, and, uh, and that's our goal, to make sure that we have the right mix of capabilities to, to ensure that we can be effective.